Elijah, why are you naked again? Oh my God, you guys, what is happening? Ads, no, Timothy, stop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be jumping back into the Crybaby Whims legacy. In the last episode, we celebrated Jared's birthday. So he is now a toddler. And honestly, guys, he is just the cutest thing. Like I could not stop fangirling over how adorable he is. And I'm probably gonna continue to do it this episode as well. Haley ended up getting pregnant in the last episode, so we should definitely be seeing the baby in this episode. So if you guys are excited for this episode, go ahead and leave a like and let's get into it. Okay, so it is first thing in the morning, um, seven in the morning and <laughs> The first thing, as soon as I loaded in, Haley has gotten up and peed herself. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up while she's in the shower. And here we have little Jared, he is sleeping and you can tell he's really stinky. So he's absolutely gonna need a bath when he gets up as well. I think Brian is gonna be headed off to work soon. So we are gonna attempt to get him a promotion. He is in the excellent. Um, so we definitely want to try to get that done today. And of course, Haley is feeling super embarrassed because of her little accident. So it's okay, it's all right, no worries. You are pregnant, you know. All right, so it looks like Brian is off to work. Uh, I hope that he has a good day and I hope that he gets a promotion. So something that I did mention in the last episode that I really wanted to do was I really wanted to get together with the family um, and I unfortunately didn't really get the chance to in the last episode. I did actually play through it. I did make an attempt, um, but it just, nothing went the way I wanted, nothing went correctly. Oh dear, she's so embarrassed. But yeah, I did actually try to meet with the family in the last episode and it just, it didn't work out. Nothing went the way I wanted. Everything, it was just a disaster. Like it was, it didn't work. And uh, so I decided to cut it, you know, especially since the video was so long already. Like I was recording forever. And of course, power conservation day is now in effect. Great. Well, that will at least give us an excuse to get out of the house. Um, I do want to do that first thing, uh, probably after Brian gets home or tomorrow, um, because I do want him to get promoted. So in order to celebrate his promotion and also to, you know, throw kind of a mock baby shower, um, where are we at actually? We are, we are currently in our second trimester. So we should be going into our third trimester, you know, in about a day. So that's good. We have a little bit of time so we can get together with the whole family. I know I said it in the last episode, but I absolutely really want to do that this episode. But for now, we're just going to spend some time with Jared, give him a little bubble bath. I really want to be able to make the most of his toddler time. I always feel like I end up rushing in all of my playthroughs. You know, I'm, I'm just rushing to get through everything. And I only ever have, you know, toddlers and kids for like one episode at a time. So I really want to kind of take my time and I really want to enjoy the time that he's a toddler just because I really like him. He's super cute. I don't want them all to grow up so fast. Oh, but he is also really hungry. So after she finishes giving him a bubble bath, we're gonna get him some food because he is super hungry. Oh, we're getting a call from mom. We've been thinking about trying for a baby. No, you already had a, you already had a, a baby in the last episode. No, you already had a baby. You don't need another one, which we do need to still meet uh, the new baby as well. So that is something that we're gonna do uh, today as well. Brian, how are you doing? He's not really in a good mood. It looks like, oh, he's sick. Okay, it looks like he is feeling kind of nauseous. So unfortunately, it doesn't really look like he's in a good mood. But we've got a little baby on the move. He's wandering outside. Maybe, oh, maybe we can spend some time with him in the little, in the pool. I think that would be really cute. Oh God, there she is out there. Let's go ahead and put Jared in the kiddie pool and spend some time with him out here because we never get to do that because it's always raining all the time. But we've actually got a nice sunny day, so I feel like that would be a really good opportunity. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Look at him splashing around in the pool. This melts my heart. I absolutely live for these cute family moments. Oh, awesome. Okay, so Brian just made it home and he did get promoted. Nice. Okay, so now that he just got promoted, um, I'm gonna let him kind of relax. Since we're spending some time out here with uh, with him in the kiddie pool, I'm gonna let him, you know, craft some stuff. Aw, this is really cute. I love this little family. And he is getting his handiness skill up, which he already has a pretty decent handiness skill. Um, he did come with that when I made him. And it looks like he's made a little bear sculpture, which is really cute, because I know that, um, that Jared really likes bears. Oh, Daphne stopped by. Oh, awesome. I do like that her parents like stop by pretty often. 
Like normally I get really like, I don't really like visitors showing up all the time, but I, I do really like that um, that her parents make time to, to stop by. Oh, and she's giving her a present. What is it this time? I know last time it was those gummy bear pancakes. Oh, Gabby, what is this? Oh, is that one of the little, like the little collectibles? Oh, she brought like a little like statue for Jared. That's so sweet. And we're gonna go ahead and plop that right there on the dresser. I think that's super cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, who is this kid? Who, what? Uh, excuse me. Who is this child? Why are you just walking up in my yard? Excuse me. I don't know this girl. Send home. I don't know who you are. Also, ah, look at them. They're out here playing together. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so cute. Oh, <laughs> look at them. Please, guys, they're so cute. Like, I I just cannot take it. They're so adorable. Oh, Haley is really uncomfortable. She's craving sweet food this time, which last time she was craving rich food. I'm going to go ahead and let her get her craved food. Hopefully that will help her hunger. And then how, oh, he really needs to be potty trained. So, oh, uh, hi, Taylor. What are you doing here? Why does everybody keep walking through my backyard? What the heck? What is this? Also, Brian has a negative relationship with Taylor and I, I don't know why. I did notice this in the last episode. I've never had them like really interact that much. Like, do you even know her? Okay, I guess he knows her, but like they have a negative relationship and I, I don't know where that came from. Maybe he like heard about what happened, you know, between uh, Taylor and Haley or Taylor and Elijah rather. Like Haley, you know, might've told told him that like, yeah, like my sister's husband is actually like my ex, but it's okay, it's, it's fine. Like I'm over it, you know, it, it's not a big deal. And uh, so maybe Brian has like a bit of like a negative view of Taylor because of that. Just kind of like, man, like why would she, why would she do that? I'm a little curious as to how that happened, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, he's gonna go take a bath. Okay, so it is 8 p.m. We are gonna put Jared to bed. Um, he, what does he want? He wants to tell a joke to Brian. That's so cute. Okay, thank God. Power conservation day has finally ended. Thank you. I was so sick of it being dark. Um, we are gonna go ahead and send the family home just cause yeah, it, it's kind of late. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send Haley to bed. Uh, she is getting kind of tired. She did get a little sentiment with Jared though, which is really cute. Closer from happy memories. She feels close to Jared from the good times and the happy memories. That's so adorable. Brian's gonna go ahead and take care of the dog cause it looks like Cinnamon is feeling a little neglected. I hear him whining. So Brian's gonna spend some time with him and then we will probably send him to bed as well. <laughs> All right, so we've got everybody in bed and uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump ahead to the next day. All right, so it is first thing in the morning, roughly about 6 a.m. We've got Brian here gonna go for a little jog with uh, with Cinnamon because he was really wanting to go for a walk while we have Haley in here cooking breakfast for everybody. And guys, not to like simp or whatever, but like, oh my God, he honestly is so fantastic. I love him. So we've got breakfast all ready for when Brian comes home with the with the dog. Okay, so it looks like Brian is back. We are gonna go ahead and let him take the day off of work. Uh, now that he did get promoted, I wanna make sure he gets a day off. So we're gonna take a vacation day, uh, let him get something to eat as well. And then we will be having kind of a little baby shower get together with the family. Oh, and Isaiah has actually aged up into a toddler. So that's perfect. Uh, we will be seeing him when we get together with everyone. So I can give him a little toddler makeover as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, of course he wants to woohoo again. Like he's already just so excited for like the next baby. Can you wait until she gets through one pregnancy before we get started on another one? Okay, yay, he reached potty level two. So now Jared can use the potty chair all by himself. That's so good. And Brian can now take family leave, which means that she just entered her third trimester. So that's super awesome. So we are actually gonna go ahead and get everybody uh, together after she takes the trash out. We're just gonna travel with everybody. Um, I don't see the new toddler, the new baby listed. I'm probably just gonna have to cheat to get him there. Or of course, Elijah would rather not come. He's gonna show up, don't worry. Okay, you guys, so I found this really cute little park. Um, it's just, it's so adorable. It's got a bunch of, you know, like the toddler things, like the little ball pit and the jungle gym for them. It's got some doll houses. It's got, you know, a little seating area for like the parents to like grill and, you know, have lunch together you know, and a bunch of like the swing sets and little hangout spots for kids to play. And I thought it worked really perfectly for like a little toddler hangout and a baby shower-esque type of get together. 
Um, so yeah, I just think it's adorable. Jared immediately is making a beeline for that big dollhouse that's bigger than him. That's so cute. So we do have Elijah here, Elijah and Taylor, who are sitting here flirting with each other. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! Excuse me? This lady just came over and wrecked the dollhouse that Jared was playing with. Ex Brian, I need you to step up and be like, like, excuse me, uh, my kid was playing with that. Like, why would you do that? Excuse me, like Brian's a really nice person. He is not the type of person to like get into fights with people, but like, excuse me, uh, go away, get out of here. And I, he's gonna come over here and fix it. Cause like, that was so rude. Why would she do that? These two are just sitting over here and like flirting with each other. I forgot that they're both like famous. So of course we're gonna have like a ton of people over here like fanboying over them. Um, whoa, excuse me, uh, uh, uh ex Elijah? 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 Excuse me, why did you just get naked? What? What are you doing? What the hell was that? Okay, I fixed it. I don't know why he was doing that. I don't know why he just got naked for no reason. Where is the other baby? I I know that I brought along uh, the other toddler. I don't know where he is. Why is this person naked too? Why are you naked? Oh my God, you guys. Elijah, why are you naked again? Oh my God, you guys, what is happening? Okay, you guys, I figured out, okay, I figured out what the problem was. Apparently, apparently this park had a lot trait on it that I didn't know about that was optional clothing. Odds oh, not, Timothy, stop! Put your clothes back on. Okay, so I think I got everything, I think I got everything sorted over. Oh no, oh sweetie. Oh, she just peed herself in front of everybody. Oh no. This is a disaster. This lady doesn't have a top on. Everybody is showing up naked. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna get everybody to sit down over here and hang out, like, because this is a disaster. Like, this is the worst. Oh, is this, okay, finally. I had so much trouble getting this little baby to show up. Like, I, it took so long to get him to show up. But, okay, this is Isaiah's. This is the, um, this is Haley and Taylor's little brother. So I'm just gonna pop into cast really, really quick. I want to see what he looks like. So this is the little brother. This is Isaiah's. Uh, this is what he looks like. I don't know why he has black hair. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have blonde hair. So uh, I'm just gonna do a very, very quick little fixing him up and then I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so here is little Isaiah's. I just did something super simple. You know, I didn't really go into like, that much crazy detail, um, but he's really cute. I think he looks a lot like Daphne. Um, so this is him, this is his full outfit. But yeah, he is very, very cute. Um, I really like him a lot. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, you guys, so here we have little Jared and Isaiah playing dolls together. This is so cute. Like I said, I know that technically Isaiah is Jared's uncle, but I really think that they're gonna end up being more like cousins. But look at them sitting here playing together. They're very cute. And then we've got all the adults over here. They're all hanging out, um, just chatting while, you know, while the babies play over here. So something that I do really want is I want Haley to, you know, try to like talk with Elijah a little bit, not like flirt with him or anything, but just, you know, try to build a friendship back and all that. I feel like, you know, we're, we're trying to kind of get on good terms with him because he is, you know, our sister's husband. So we definitely want to, you know, try to talk to him, try to, you know, maybe share the big news. Obviously it's very obvious that she's pregnant, but you know. But yeah, I also, I don't think that Brian actually knows Elijah. Like if I can't, like, can you actually talk to him? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like he can actually talk to him. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, Brian doesn't actually know Elijah um, all that well. So it looks like everybody's getting along. Everybody's just like hanging out. Everybody's talking. Um, it is just a pleasant conversation right now. So that's good. It does seem like Elijah is actually like talking to him or talking to her, which is really good. Cause obviously, you know, like when, you know, she went to their house, like he like bit her head off for no reason. And like, they just, they got so angry, like even seeing each other. So it does look like that he's able to remain civil, you know? Now, if, is that just because they're all together and he doesn't want to like, you know, get mad at her, like in, you know, in front of the family? She does need to go to the bathroom. So I probably want to get her to go to the bathroom so she doesn't pee herself again. Cause like, that would be really bad. 
So I'm gonna have her run to the bathroom really quick. Where is Brian? Oh, Brian's all the way over here. I guess he got a little overwhelmed. He is an introvert, so I feel like being, you know, around everybody, being around the family, being around, you know, just everybody all at once was probably kind of draining him out. But it is starting to get a little late. It's 8 p.m. and Jared is really tired. So I think we're gonna head out. I think we're gonna head home. I'm glad though that we at least got to hang out with everybody, even though it was kind of a disaster. Um, but we did get to get everybody together and that's, that's all I wanted. Really, that is all I wanted. So we are going to head home because he's really tired. Okay, so that ended up being kind of a disaster. I'm not gonna lie. But um, but we're home, we're all good. Okay, but I'm gonna have Haley read Jared to sleep because he uh, really, really needs to go to sleep. And I also really need her to continue reading to a toddler. Okay, so everybody's tired. We're just gonna send everybody to bed. <laughs> so she is just coming over here to eat her breakfast with Brian while they watch a little bit of TV in the morning. Jared is still sleeping, although he should be waking up fairly soon, but right now he is still sleeping. So they're just kind of enjoying their time together, enjoying their time, you know, while the baby is asleep. You know, maybe flirt with him a little bit. Maybe, you know, blow him a little kiss. Have a bit of romance time. Just a little bit, you know. Oh, although right on cue, I do see that Jared has woken up. So we're gonna let him get something to eat and then he's gonna need a bath because he is really gross. <laughs> Why are you feeling tense? Why are you uncomfortable? Oh, stinky diaper. He's also, I think, he's also overthinking. So, I don't know, he's been a little tense and a little on edge, it seems, since they met with the family. Um, I don't really know why, but it feels like, you know, since they were there and then since he came home, like he's been either like tense or uncomfortable. So I don't really know what it is. Uh, you know, I don't really know what is making him overthink and what's making him like uncomfortable. Maybe it is the fact that uh, Elijah was there and that, you know, Haley and Elijah were talking. Not that he suspects anything. He definitely doesn't think, you know, that, oh, she's gone into labor, okay. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get her to the hospital. But just to finish my thought really quick, I definitely don't think that, you know, Brian assumes anything, you know, he doesn't think ill of, uh, you know, of Elijah or think that anything would go on between them. Um, I think it's just kind of that like, he has like a, a little bit of an off feeling, I think about Taylor. And so then, you know, seeing Taylor and Elijah being there and just kind of getting this like, I don't know, I just, feel like something's weird about this and I just kind of get a, an off weird feeling. Um, so I think that could be what's causing, you know, Brian to feel a little tense, which right now he's okay. He's giving the baby a bath, which uh, we do need to get her to the hospital because we need to have her second baby. So we are going to go ahead and say, have a baby at hospital. Um, and I am gonna bring, we're gonna join her of course, uh, and we're gonna bring Brian. So. We're gonna have to send little Jared to daycare because we need to go. <laughs> oh God, of course the uh, the craziness has begun. Why? At least he's in the room. I didn't have to uh, to tell him to come in here this time. He, he at least already came in here. <laughs> okay, so congratulations. It is a boy, which we did know of course, uh, because we checked ahead of time, but yay. Our little baby boy is born. Um, I did look through your guys' name suggestions and honestly, it's so hard to choose like, Let's see, because we've got like Forest, which is a name that I really, really like. Um, we've got Hunter, we've got uh, Taylor, which is a really good name. I do like it a lot, but um, of course, you know, her sister's name is Taylor. So uh, we might save that for a future Sim. We've got Sam. I do kind of like Sam or like Sammy. I also really liked the name Cody, which was not necessarily suggested to me, but I thought about that one as well. I liked the name Cody. So I think for this baby, I am gonna go with uh, Sammy just because um, I really liked it. I think it's really cute. Maybe when he gets older, you know, he'll go by Sam, but I just think the name Sammy is super cute. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna go with for this baby. And congratulations, we got a birth certificate. Brian, can you please get off the computer? I beg of you. And yeah, so it is just the one, just the one baby. We didn't have twins, which thank God, cause like I had no clue like where I was gonna put another baby if we ended up with twins. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we are gonna go ahead and head home. So we've got little Sammy in here and it looks like Jared's coming in here to meet his new little brother. I wonder what he's gonna think about him. Oh, it does look like he uh, is getting a little smothered by those pillows. He's happy, new sibling. He can't wait to play with his new sibling. Aww. So Jared is really, really excited for the new baby. That's adorable. 
Aw, so we've got the cute little baby in here. I'm really glad that Jared is happy. He's just watching his mama with his little brother and he's really happy about the new sibling. I'm really excited about that. I'm really glad because sometimes they do not want a little sibling, but it looks like Jared is very excited. And of course it's Brian's turn to come in here. He, of course he has to hold the baby as well. Oh, and then we did actually end up getting the milestone for Haley's um, uh, aspiration. Okay, but uh, she does have to help a child with homework three times, have a child earn an A in high school, and then have a child max any skill. So obviously she can't do that until, you know, Jared becomes a child. So for now, in terms of her aspiration, she's just chilling. Aw, so baby's up from his nap and his hair turned black for some reason. Uh, it's not supposed to be that color. I don't know why, I don't know why his hair is black. Um, so I do actually want to work on his skills. Uh, his imagination skill is the highest. He is at level four for imagination. His communication uh, isn't great. His thinking is really low. So I am kind of curious when um, Jared's birthday is going to be. It looks like, okay, so Sammy ages up um, on a Monday and then Jared actually ages up into a child on Tuesday. So that'll probably be in the next episode because yeah, this episode I've already been recording for a little while. So I'm probably not gonna play it for that long. Uh, I do wonder why his hair has changed to black. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix that really quick. <laughs> okay, so I just fixed his hair and I came back into the game and it's black now again. So I actually have no clue what's causing that because I literally just came back from Cass and it was black again. So something's going on with Jared. And all these two, they're so in love. These two are really cute. They just do this all on their own. It's so sweet. So we're just gonna go ahead and send him to bed um, because he's really tired. So let's just put the baby to bed. And I know Brian was still really wanting to woohoo. Um, she hasn't really got the, uh, the want for it yet. So if, you know, whenever she does end up thinking about it as well, we will go ahead and have a third baby. Cause like I said, you know, we do have to have at least four. We have to have three with Brian and then, you know, we're gonna need to have one more, but we're not gonna worry about that yet. I'm still trying to kind of build up the relationship with Elijah, but she has plenty of time. She has 19 days until she ages up into an adult. So we are totally good. We have plenty of time. Um, I tend to rush these things. I don't mean to, I just, I tend to be like, how fast can I get through this challenge? And it's like, I don't need to do that. You know, we're, we're chilling, we're vibing. So Sammy started crying again. Brian, can you take care of that this time? I think his crying actually woke up Jared. Aww, he tucked him in and kissed his forehead. That's so cute. Oh, of course it is three in the morning and little Sammy has started crying and woke up Jared again. Oh no, poor baby. Let's get you in here taking care of him. Okay, so I can I can already tell that Sammy is crying so much more than Jared did. Like the second like she walks away, he starts crying again. <laughs> so I don't know, he might end up being a bit of a fussy toddler because he cries a lot more. Okay, so it is seven in the morning. Um, Brian is having some work withdrawals. He's feeling like really, uh, really tense because he really wants to get back to work. Um, but he doesn't work for like two days. So, but for the time being, um, Haley is just playing video games while, uh, while he makes some food, which, what are you making? Baked chocolate mousse. I don't know why he decided to cook that, but you know, whatever. Whoa, hang on. What? Uh, uh excuse me? Elijah, what are you, um, okay, why is Elijah here? He literally just like walked in the house. Did I not hear a knock at the door? Was there a knock and I just didn't hear it? Okay, Elijah, what, hello, what are you doing here? Oh, and he is suddenly super tense. Like Elijah came over and he immediately got super tense and was like, I don't wanna be here right now. Brian was feeling super tense when they were like at the hangout too, like when they were all at the park. And now like that Elijah has come over, which I don't even know why he's here, but like now that he's like stepped foot into the house, Brian is like really uncomfortable, like immediately. And he automatically is coming over here to like chat with them. Why are you flirty? Okay, hang on. I have no clue what's happening right now. Why are you flirty, first of all? Why are you even here? Um, I guess we can try to talk to him. They did talk a little bit when they were, you know, at the park. Maybe, you know, just chat, be like, hey, 
is there something that you need? Like, what's up? What's what's going on? Maybe him and Taylor are having a little bit of issue. Like, why else would he come here, you know? Like, why else would he come here to talk to Haley? But yeah, no, Brian, you can tell that like Brian immediately was like, I don't like this, hang on. And like immediately came into the room and immediately sat down next to Elijah. I would, oh God, I would take the dog out for a walk, but like, I don't think Brian wants to like leave the two of them alone. But Brian, I do, Cinnamon is begging for a, uh, a walk. So maybe we will send him on a bit of a walk. Just, you know, just go for, go for a jog together. And Brian is, you know, he's feeling better. He's feeling playful now. So maybe he's kind of like, okay. So maybe Brian, you know, kind of was like, okay, I need to chill out. Like who cares if he's here? I trust Haley, it's fine. It's not a big deal, you know? So he's gonna take the dog out for a walk just because the dog was begging. Um, maybe there's something going on with him and Taylor that, you know, he didn't really want to talk about with like Brian in the room. So, so why don't we, here, go ahead and turn the TV off for now. Why don't we come over here? I don't know why he's flirty though. That's the part that's like concerning me. Like that's the part that's really making me like question this. Why don't you try asking about Taylor? Taylor is my ball and chain. We're married. Okay, so he didn't say, you know, I'm so in love with Taylor. Like he didn't, you know, he didn't gush about how much he loves her. He said she's her, that she's his ball and chain. So that definitely feels like something might be wrong. Um. <laughs> Uh, he just went to go take out the trash for some reason. So, okay, so he just got back. He was taking out the trash, but like, you know, that was really interesting that he referred to her as his bowl and chain. Uh, says, I love kids. I really want a big family. So we know, I know I had mentioned before that like Taylor doesn't want any kids or at least from, you know, from what I saw, she didn't want any. So I wonder then if that's kind of causing that issue. Cause I did think that that might end up causing an issue. But why is he flirty? That's what I want to know. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe she's like, well, why don't you just talk to her? Why don't you just tell her that that's what you want? And he's like, well, I have, but she's pretty adamant. Like, you know, I wish I had known that when we got married. Cause you know, I, I was under the impression that we were going to like start a family together, but apparently not. We've learned that he's ambitious. Well, we kind of already knew that. Oh, oh God, I hear, oh, uh oh, I hear the babies are actually up. Elijah's actually come in here on his own to take care of Sammy. Um, which like that, thank you. I didn't ask you to do that, but I mean, he did say he loves kids. Aw, okay. So yeah, like it looks like, I mean, he really likes the kids, um, which, which it looks like he really likes kids. He did say, you know, he wants a big family. He wants a lot of kids. And Jared is in here talking with Elijah. Yeah, Sammy is still crying. Like he's, every single time she gets up, he starts crying, which Jared feels better now. He's not angry anymore. And he's, oh, he's telling him a story. So, okay. I don't really know why Elijah just showed up out of nowhere, but he's come over. You know, he's really taken to Jared and, you know, he tried to take care of Sammy a little bit. You know, obviously he said like he wants kids, he wants a family, but like Taylor doesn't. And so he's like, I don't really know what to do about that. And she's just like, well, if you want to babysit Jared, like, you know, I can always drop him off at yours and Taylor's house if you want. I just wonder like why he's come over and he's flirty. Oh, but she's giving him flashcards. That's really cute. He does need to get his skills up a little bit. Um, Brian's still not back yet. I feel like he should be back fairly soon, but he's, he's still not back. So I do wonder, she does find him attractive. She does still think he's attractive, but it says a terrible match. It's probably best to stay apart. There's a lot of dislike here. Um, oh, I should really get going. Okay. So he's leaving. Brian should be back pretty soon, but it is really interesting though, that like he came over kind of literally just out of nowhere and was like, Hey, I just need to get out of the house. You know, I, I assume that that's the reason I assume he, he and Taylor might have gotten into a fight. Like, I don't know. Um, but it's possible that he and Taylor got into a fight and he needed to just get away. Uh, why he came here, I don't know, but he clearly wanted to talk about it. So, um, but yeah, it is interesting that Elijah showed up here and he showed up flirty, like he showed up in a flirty mood. So I don't really know what that says. I don't really know why, but um, 
Yeah, so I mean, but yeah, there was that. Uh, but anyway, we are playing with Jared, whose hair has turned back to black for some reason. And Brian... Brian's on his way back, so uh, he should be back pretty soon. Okay, so I think um, once we go ahead and get everybody's needs settled, I am gonna end this episode for today. I know that Sammy is gonna be aging up um, really soon, so I think that is, yes, that is tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and save that for the next episode where baby Sammy is gonna be aging up into a toddler and then Jared is gonna be aging up into a child. So this episode was a tiny bit of a disaster, I'm not gonna lie, but I think we did make a little bit of progress. We were able to see the family and then of course our second baby was was born, a uh, little Sammy. We did also get a surprise meeting from Elijah. I'm assuming that things aren't going well at home. So hopefully in the next episode, we can find out more about that and what's going on. So if you guys are excited, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on the next episode when it comes out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.